Right, yo, so we are half an hour away from pulling out the pork, and I just gotta tell you, the smell, let me waft it your way, wafting it, yeah? Can you get some of that? It's smelling barbecue-tastic in here. And speaking of barbecue, we're gonna get a big pan right now. Hello, hello. And uh, make some barbecue sauce. Ah. Okay, all the ingredients are here. I've hit pause and write them all down, but I'm just adding in four tablespoons. Look at that, I'm squirting it like a laser. Four tablespoons of ketchup. Yeah. Uh, some more cider vinegar. We already know that doesn't taste too good. What? Now this is 100 ml of rice vinegar. It's a little uh, different, so uh, let's have a sip of finger in there. Ooh, a little bit more milder than cider vinegar, but still doesn't taste like I want to drink it that much. Okay, in that goes. A tablespoon of apple juice. I do want to drink this, but I need to put it in there. A couple of shakes of Worcester sauce. And the same amount in soy sauce. Two tablespoons of honey again. Oh, loving the honey in this one. Yeah. And last but not least, I've got a tablespoon of whole grain mustard, quarter of a chopped onion, and a garlic clove which I've sliced. So I'm just gonna push that all in like so. Uh, stir it all through, that is it. Just give it a nice little heat on a simmer, and we'll bring it in time to shred up our pork. Wow! Righty ho, so I've kept that sauce mixture on that low heat like so, cha-ching, right in there, just below a simmer. It's sticking over, have a little taste, you're Make sure you're happy with it. And what I've got now is my pork straight out of the oven like that. So I'm going to unwrap it from the foil now and hopefully hack away at it and let it go right in there. Okay then folks, so I took it off the heat and I don't know if you can see, I've got two forks and I'm just clawing away at it. You can see how tender it is, it's just breaking up beautiful. So get it all up so it's into funky little strands and then we get it in our barbecue sauce over there. So keep clawing away. Okay, so after having a massive good like Catwoman audition session on it, like this, cha-ching, I'm gonna pick up my hands now, you shouldn't really do this, but I'm just gonna spoon that into the barbecue sauce like that, and then we'll stir it through, get it all nice and coated. Oh my goodness, so all of that is going in there, but meanwhile, get yourself another little pan like this, because we're gonna do our rice now, and one other little bit, our barbecue sauce which was there, put a little bit to one side there, just for the end. Yeah, so I'm just stirring that pork in now into that barbecue sauce, oh my goodness. Okay, so I switched my pans around and I put the little one right there for our rice. So if you want to make the rice, this is what I'm doing. Hit pause and write all those ingredients down. Yeah. Uh, so what I've got is some olive oil in that goes first of all, just to heat that pan up. And then we're going to chuck in some yellow pepper, some red pepper, half an onion, got some rice and some chicken stock. That's all going in there. Peas at the end. And then we're ready. Right, so my peppers are going in first of all, it's getting a bit loud, because I really want to get that amazing sort of flavour. I love that peppers when they really cook through, that sweetness gives out. Oh my goodness. And about three or four minutes later, push in your onions. Okay, so with the onions and the peppers softened up, I've got my vegetable stock, I'm just going to pour that right in, like so. And also, I'm going to grab my rice at the same time, and pour in about 200 grams. That's how much I'm using, that will definitely serve me and Mrs. Barry, and some leftover for sure. Uh, so yeah, all we do now is stir that through. Bring it to a simmer to cook the rice through, and then we're ready to serve it all up, baby. Oh! Okay, last step before we get to the wraps. You'll notice that your pork has simmered down, so grab some kidney beans and just pour them in like so, and also in your rice, some frozen peas like this, because it's so hot in there, it only takes about two minutes just to heat them up. Stir that through, and I should be stirring, ah, there's a pork spoon. Stir that through too. Right here then folks, so we've had a heck of a session putting this together. We have got our rice right there, we've got our coleslaw, we've got some cheese I've grated up, that's cheddar and red Leicester. I actually live quite near cheddar, if you're interested, random fact for you. And of course, our pulled pork right in there, oh my goodness. Now what I've done is got myself a wrap, I've warmed up in the microwave so it's nice and pliable, and tried to put it more towards the upper tier of it, so I've got the pulled pork, the coleslaw and the rice, and let's just get a little bit of cheese and sprinkle it on the top like that, oh my goodness. Now, is the folding bit. Okay then guys, so I'm going to do my best at this, this tortilla, as I say, is slightly warm. So what we're going to do is get some sort of wings here, and pull this forward at the same time. Tuck that in, and keep wrapping it round until it sits on the seam. Ooh, bit on my finger. Just like that. There we go. That's not a bad first effort. Right, so all we need to do now is just cut it up, so maybe go at an angle, nice and fast like that. Oh, a little bit of spillage, but it's all good, it's all good. Here we go, hold them up like that to you. There we go, so we're going to stack them up right now. Okay, so grab yourself a little plate, stack them kind of like in a weird angle like that. We're going to get some barbecue sauce, some extra coleslaw and some more rice along there right now. Here we go. Et voila, there we go. Only thing left to do now is have a good old taste of it. Good times, baby. Right here then guys, remember you've been watching My Virgin Kitchen on the Jamie Oliver channel, so if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to both. And uh, let's just have a massive try of this right now. What I'm going to do is pick it up, I love barbecue sauce, I'm going to dunk it right in there right now and just go like this. Are you ready? Ah. Mm. Oh my goodness, that is amazing! 
I just dropped it like that, but it's just so good. I feel like I'm sort of like watching a tennis match and going, my, my mind is going, ooh, ah, ee, ah, like watching a tennis ball, but it's the flavors in my mouth. That is incredible. So if I can make that, absolutely anyone in the world can. Have a go for yourself, let me know how you get on. We'll see you again next time. Subscribe to both channels, baby.